gonna visit his mansion. Mm -hmm. Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode here on Past Caesar Skin. We were in the middle of a mission where we were trying to go and hunt down a rapper's album to actually like steal a sample of his voice and make it be used enough to make a soundboard that we can convince some guy that we're going to make a deal with him to sell the album just for the lulls of it. Uh, obviously we've got the continue on. What something? I don't know what it was actually. Someone popped up on the screen there. But we're going to take a wee look in here and see where we need to be. Um, that's Johnny, where are you? Is that, uh, is that the one? A high price to pay? Yep, that's where we need to go. So we're going to track that mission, and we'll take the map that'll lead us all the way there. So what we're doing is we're going to the rich motherfucker's uh, mansion. He's a pharmaceutical CEO, and we're going to uh, convince him to spend a ridiculous amount of money and give that essentially to DedSec, and for him to actually not get the album that he's requesting, or he wants to essentially get from the famous rapper. If you've been watching the previous episode, you would know exactly what this is all about. PP hacking invasion event nearby. Oh my! You've got well, we're not gonna get involved in that. We're gonna do this. Dead. Hack them for what they've got, but make sure you don't get caught. You know how primate do. It's a hack made. What do we do to him next? Time to mess with the farmer clown. This ass face deserves it. Oh, we got him now. Hello. What's up? Uh, sup? Who is this? Yo, bitch. It's Bobo Dakes. Holy shit. I'm a huge fan. Are you taking me up on my offer? Yeah. Really? Fantastic. Yup. Can I get a sample? That's dope. That's your best work yet. You're welcome. Apparently so. And this is exclusive, right? No one else gets this, just me? Yup. So how do you want payment? The bitch better have my money. I do. I just need to know how to route it to you. Yo, check it. Ah, there. That's the routing number? Yup. Yup. Uh-huh. Sent and confirmed. You got it. This is awesome, man. This is like a dream come true. Yo, bitch. It's Bobo Dakes. What? They say God made man in his own image. But God made himself in Bobo's image. What are you talking about? Yo, bitch. It's Bobo Dakes. No. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. it out, buddy. Shit! Why me? Come on! I'm a good guy! It's just business! I got shareholders, bitches! <laughs> well, that was for the lulls. Guys, guys, he just, he just donated 20 million to leukemia research. Hey, awesome. <laughs> Bitch better have my money. <laughs> Who did that? 
Alright. That's it. I'm just gonna stand still on one street side so I can actually just steal a vehicle from somebody. Yeah, that's you. God, get out of the way! Sorry, buddy. God, take your vehicle. So that was actually my first side mission in um, <laughs> Watch Dogs 2. That was entertaining, I suppose. I mean, I don't really... I can see where the, the whole thing of this is actually less seriousness, more humor-based kind of like content. But it doesn't seem to be like... Um, it doesn't feel like I'm actually ma I don't make progression with this unless I actually do some really interesting shit, I suppose. Well, let's take a look to see on the uh, phone. Maybe we can actually have another dead second mission that might actually be more related to the main plot. Uh, online operations. Main operation. Alright, so main operations. There we go. I'm gonna do that one. Hey, wake up! I have to watch a movie trailer in the hacker space. So there seems to be like a lot of like cool random shit that actually can like involves the missions that you're doing that's uh, which i'm completely on board with i actually like this idea um that you just kind of like the game is actually just a framework to do shit in which is what i thought uh things like final fantasy 15 and a lot of our games are kind of like building their way towards but they just kind of build a world and environment gta style that you can just do shit in and all the things will be added as they become apparent or somebody comes up with the idea for them which is a bit of a weird, it's like a very engineering kind of like solution to an entertainment problem. It's not actually Congrats. designed for direction. Fast. How many are actually giving us access to their computers? All of them, that's the point. They give us access to their power, we grow a network of computers that makes us stronger, our own giant cloud computing network. So do people sign a contract? I vow to let DedSec own my processor? We're transparent. They know before they ever install the app that they're giving us access to their computing power, but never their personal info. That's a lot of trust. Silicon Valley would kill to have that level of intrusion. Private data farming runs their whole economy. And what we look out for our own, man. That's why people are joining our movement. To make a statement against the technocrats. No! Well, that statement against the technocrats is Cinchy just saying, like, I just want a different set of technocrats fucking with my shit. Which is fair enough. Oh, hey guys! Wow, a lot of people in here. Yo, you interested in taking a turn? We need one more person to play. It's one of those new German games. Yeah? Shit, that's Free Road. It won a Golden Ace. I'd love to, but I'm kind of running late. Eh, fair enough. Mm, I like this. Is the store that actually fills up during the night with all the <laughs> all the guys who just play games? Get rid of all your wetlands cards. Your monsters there are all garbage, and you're only getting a plus one synergy bonus. You should be drawing plus three in like under four turns. Hi. Yeah, I have no idea. I I don't do tabletop game card games. Let's see people who don't know contextually a lot of this environment and stuff would not get a kick out of this at all. I mean, it's very, it's not in jokey, but it's actually, I suppose, nerdery is the the main stream now, so if it is, I just used to live here, if it is the main stream, then these jokes are all perfectly valid. Where am I meant to be going? Um, a wrench, chat to him about the movie. Let's go and check out this trailer for a film. So the events, the missions themselves. Yeah, Marcus, have you seen? They're kind of instanced in their own way. No, it's out. Hey, hey, pull it up, no, man. No, 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 not on this. For this, we need perfect sound. We need a big screen. We need to be comfy. Right. We need quiet. Have you seen it yet? No, man. I waited for you. You're the best. Thank you. All right, everybody, we're gonna watch the trailer. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> in a world where technology connects everything, I'm not looking for justice. God damn it. One man prowls the information superhighway in search of cyber justice. I'm looking for cyber justice. Simple line of code could devastate the whole world. It's gonna be a cyber caster. Cyber driver. This looks awful. Hit him with the code, Flurry Chip. 
Jimmy Siska is Cyber Driver. Got no choice, kiddies. Follow me or die. Devon Von Devon. We gotta get these hackers somewhere safe. They aren't hackers, Devon. They're just script kitties. Hey, the car answered. This ain't your mama's smart car. I think next time we're gonna need a higher firewall, pal. Cyber, Cyber Driver. driver. <laughs> Action hero, badass. Talking car. Admit it, Josh. The car is cool. You know what I'm thinking? Steal the car. Steal the car. We cut our own version of that trailer. And that car is gonna help us do it. Real? It wouldn't have us a ton of followers. Yo, first, Josh and I will go to the studio to get that script. We'll look around and see what other gems they have about death sec. And we'll look for the car. All right, so what's the deal here? Are we, are we issuing an advisory? No, why would we do that? They'll just patch the holes. No, uh, let them. Don't worry, Cyber Child. Oh, don't. Hacker movie's gonna get hacked. Okay, so essentially I'm going to go in and modify it. We are holding you solely responsible for the draft that is Cyber Driver. Cyber Driver. Cheesy stunts and bad dialogue, we can take. But you've insulted our intelligence, and that we can't excuse. It seems like you could deal with a lesson on what hackers are capable of. And since you didn't come to us to learn, we'll come to you to teach. We are launching Operation Hack and Run. We'll show you what hackers can do. We are dead set. Expect us. No other mission in here to do, so um, I'm just gonna go and do that. Okay, back on the road again. Up into this children's store. Just where we've actually been doing horrible shit the entire time. Wow, it, this is like the little load times that are hidden behind these door openings and stuff. And we're like, yeah, kind of like probably should time myself so that I don't end up sitting here silent while that's happening. <laughs> this is the, it's like a dog doing a wee loop before he sits down to chat. And just barely made a hit, but it was enough. My paladin was down to one life before I was able to heal everyone with a prayer for divine intervention to my deity, Arneson. I'm glad that was the case. Oh, damn it, where did my bike go? You guys thought that movie was gonna be good? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. Fun to laugh at. Cool, you said. Uh, did I actually say cool? Here's what we know, Josh. Cyber Driver is shaped up to be a million dollar cyber catastrophe. I know you're tr I know he was going to say something else, but then I interrupted the music. And that seemed to interrupt the dialogue. So I'm just going to go to the location and I assume that I'm going to go steal something, break something, or break into something. Up. Oh. Keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. Speed of knuckles, what the fuck is going on? Alright, so we're almost there. Only a couple hundred meters. We're just gonna burst through the door. Boom! Okay, we can't do that. <laughs> Alright, you jump. Oh, I could have done. Boom. Ah! That's annoying. If I had known that I'd had it beforehand. Oh. I just walked straight out as soon as I got in. Motion Picture Studios. Yeah, I'm just going to go for a wander, am I?
Okay. We need to get into three. Sure. Sure. How can people keep buying this new Dawn bullshit? It's obviously a money-making scheme disguised as a New Age church. These things usually target the uneducated and the elderly. But I'm seeing intelligent, well-spoken celebrities flock to it. What is going on? And how do I get in on the profit? Okay, guys, I'm in. Found it. We got the full scripted cyber driver.
Here we go. Found the emails. Mmm, nice. The not-so-secret emails. Well, seems I got everything. What about the car? It isn't here. We'll have to track it down some other way. I'm heading out now. Hey guys, I found an email that says the car is being delivered to a location, but doesn't say where or when. That's okay. I think I have a backup plan. And that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen, with absolute silence as you run around. <laughs> Paparazzi contact who knows where the car is. He's waiting for you. We'll give him whatever he asks for out of that email dump. He's good for it. Sure. You have a paparazzi contact? <laughs> is there anyone you don't know? That's me. Social butterfly. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was actually a finishing off of that mission with a little bit at the very end there. Just actually have um, destroyed a couple of guys that I actually spotted on the way. Um, thanks very much for watching. This has been a Another episode of Passage of Skin playing Water uh, Watch Dogs 2. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We're working our way through like this three-hour tech demo that they essentially gave us access to. Uh, everyone has access to it on the PlayStation Network. You can, of course, pull it down and give it a try yourself. And you can see these early missions the same as I have. Um, I'm going to see how far I can push in this three hours to see if I can make it through um, a good portion of the main storyline. But... Um, you can, of course, come back and join us for this playlist later on to see a little bit more of that. If you enjoyed watching me get, play Watch Dogs 2, you can hit the subscribe button up here at the top. And that allows you to actually be able to subscribe to the channel and see every video as it comes up live. Or you can take a look over these videos over this side here. That actually is ones that are in other playlists and other things that I've actually played lately. So make sure to check those out as soon as you can. And I welcome you back to the channel at any other time. 
So until the next video, I'll see all you dudes in the next time. Next thing. I don't know. I think I might have scrambled up my own ending there. Either way. Bye.